Hello, friends. So it is two weeks um, post-op, I think. Let's see. One, two, oh, it's three weeks now. Three weeks. Today's the 26th. So it's, it's been three weeks since April 5th. And um, I am feeling good, people. I um, started back to work last week and last week was a real rough week for me but this uh last couple of days have been okay and i've started my pureed food but really the only thing i've eaten is just beans mashed up beans so that's been okay beans and uh pudding so that's been pretty cool um can't eat too much like if i eat uh a spoon full then that's a lot for me so when i eat like two spoonfuls i'm i'm usually done but because i haven't been eating i have no it doesn't happen right away so i don't know that i'm done so sometimes like with the pudding if you know the pudding is just a cup but i'll eat the whole cup not knowing that i'm done and then after I'm done, you know, it kind of bothers me that I'm a, I feel like a little stuffed, but, um, you know, it's, it's learning curve trying to get to know my, my, my body now and see how things are, are going to work for me. So, and then with the beans, I can, I can tell, you know, fast with those. So I might just eat like a spoonful or I might just eat like a tad bit, you know, just put a little bit on the spoon and try to eat that. But my main thing that I'm happy about is I'm able to drink water like now and it ain't I'm sipping the water because I have, you know, when I drink too much water, it makes my head feel like I'm in a pool and my ears get all clogged up. Like, uh, you know, I'm underwater and it's not a good feeling and my nose gets like stuffy and I had to blow my nose. Um, but I mean, I guess that is what it is. Hopefully that'll go away soon. Um, cause I don't want to be like this forever when I drink water. Cause that's not fair, but there's nothing I could do about it. I guess if that's what it is. So um <clears throat> i'm just taking it day by day man my scars are healing up pretty nicely and um i'm still on the blood thinners because of the blood clot in my liver but may 6th we'll go get the ct scan or whatever it's called to see how the surgery is looking on the inside and if the blood clot is still there if it got bigger or smaller but i can say that i'm very tired all the time though even though i'm up and moving and um trying to get as active as i can without hurting myself i'm not like lifting things or anything yet um but i'm just very tired all the time so and i'm still sleeping up so that sucks um last night i, I slept on my side um and i slept okay but now i have a crick in my neck that is just killing me so it's like everything you're learning to do to try to figure out how your new body is, is going to fare, you know, with your daily activities. And it's definitely tough. You know, um, I really don't recommend people if you can work out, go work out. You know, I would have just worked out, but my gout is so bad. My Like I said, my nerves are damaged in my knee, my foot, um, like my big toe and my heel and in my knee. So my my left leg is just is messed up. So um I could probably lift weights, you know what I mean? Um soon. And I'm probably going to get some resistance bands or something coming up here. Uh they said at 6 weeks. So um I got 3 more weeks for that and then I'll start training a little, you know, just to tone um, cause I'm, I'm 225 now, so that's great. But, um, uh, I'm trying to, my, my goal weight is 165. That's my goal weight. And I know that's kind of small, 
but I plan on building back up to one, 175, 180 with muscle. So right now, I still can't drink protein shakes. And even the protein water makes me feel sick because I don't know what it is about that protein or what it's, whatever they put in those things. They all make me feel like very, very like flu-like symptoms. So I'm not getting very much protein right now, but I am putting some of the vanilla protein powder into the jello. I mean, into the uh, pudding. And so it ain't a lot, but at least it's something. But I don't really care about losing muscle right now. I just want to get to my goal weight. And then by that time, that should be within the next six, seven months. It should be by the end of the year. I should be 160 something. Um, And then hopefully by that time, I also am, am healed. I'm also feeling great. And then I'm able to really go hard and, and tone up to get some muscle back. And I'll worry about that then, you know. Most people I'm seeing, they don't even try. They they got all this time and they just look skinny and they haven't worked out, you know. They go on walks and things like that, but they're not conditioning. They're not doing strict training. They're not doing calisthenics, you know. So I, ca I do care about looking, you know, because even as a big guy, always kind of looked like stocky, you know? So I do care about that, but my main focus right now has to be on losing the weight. I can't focus on, you know, protein and all that because I can't even eat like I need to eat to get protein and I can't take the shakes or the water. So right now I'm just drinking plain old water and it, you know, I have to take like little sips And this is only 33 ounces, fluid ounces, but this unfortunately takes me all day. And you really need two of these, they say, to be hydrated. So since I'm not doing IVs right now, I got to try to figure that out. But hopefully within the next, you know, couple of weeks, I'll get to where two of those is, is not hurting me. So... And the other thing is, is that um, I have like this burping thing. Like anytime, anytime I eat or drink, my stomach feels like kind of like something's whooshing around in there. And then it's like coming back up as a burp. Um, I did get really sick yesterday from eating too many beans. Um, I was very nauseous. I was very like... I felt like I was going to die. So now I know, you know, chill out on, on the beans. And it's, it was a small bowl, like really, literally like this big and maybe this big around. It, I don't feel like getting up, but um, it's too much. So, but that's cool. But then I did weigh myself yesterday. I was 222 and then... And that was before I ate. And then today you just saw I weighed myself on 225. So that kind of is weird to me. But um, that might be water too. Because I drank a whole bottle of water yesterday. And I've been, I drank a half a bottle today already from another bottle. And then I just started this one. So maybe it could be, well, I don't know why they would put three pounds on you though. I don't know. Maybe my skills broke, but um, I'm not going to weigh myself every day. This is my once a week update and that's when I weigh. So uh, this week I was planning on showing, you know, everything I eat. But now that I'm I'm working, I wasn't planning on working, but I, I have to get back to work. So now that I'm working, that's going to be kind of hard to keep up with everything I'm doing. So. That's okay though. I'll still tap in with y'all every week. And once I start getting stuff, you know, going and, and eating things, then I'll make those type of videos, you know, what I'm eating and um how I'm how I'm staying, you know, within my uh limits and stuff like that. But I'm not really doing much right now. So um you just gotta stay positive and keep going, you know, because you know, as you can see in the beginning I was pretty unhappy and things like that but it seems like i'm getting better so week three 
things are are seeming to look up and hopefully I'm get the worst is behind me because I've already done the emergency room thing. I've already been on the IVs. Hopefully it's up from here and nothing else happens. But main concern is making sure I get this water in and taking these blood thinners every day so this blood clot doesn't, you know, hurt me. So I don't know. Um things are okay. So I appreciate you guys for watching and uh I'll see you next week and Holla at me if you got any questions. Please subscribe. Um, and I'll see you next time. Peace.